children, draw your little chairs nearer the graphophone grand, and Uncle John will tell you the story of Cinderella and the glass slipper. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful maiden named Cinderella, who had two sisters who were as homely as she was pretty. Their mother made Cinderella do all the hard work in the kitchen, which made her very sad. One evening, while she sat gazing into the fire and wishing she could have gone with her sisters to a grand ball given in honor of a great prince, she suddenly saw a most beautiful fairy standing before her. The fairy told her that as she had always been so kind and good, she too should go to the ball that night. A wave of her magic wand and Cinderella's rags were changed to gorgeous robes of velvet. A pumpkin was made into a chariot and eight little white rats were changed into handsome horses. So Cinderella went to the ball that night where she danced many times with the handsome prince who told her how much he loved her. Exactly at the stroke of midnight, Cinderella had to leave, as then her fairy clothes were to be changed back into rags. And she went in such a hurry that she lost one of her little glass slippers. The prince was disappointed that she had gone as he wished to marry her. Then he sent all over the land to find the one who put the little slipper would fit exactly. After trying many ladies, the heralds came to Cinderella's house, where the two ugly daughters tried to wear the slipper but failed. The wicked mother said she had no other daughter, and the only other woman in the house was Cinderella the serving maid. The heralds insisted on her trying the shoe, when lo, it fit exactly. The heralds at once took the glad news to the prince, and after sending Cinderella fine clothes, he sent his own carriage for her and took her to the palace, where they were married and lived happily ever afterwards. There now, wasn't that a nice story? Run off to bed now, little ones. Kiss Uncle John good night.